I'm demonstrating the procedure for citrate utilization test. This test is a biochemical test that is used to differentiate between the members of the family Enterobacteriaceae. The citrate test forms the C component of the imbic battery of test, which is used to differentiate the bacteria that belong to the Enterobacteriaceae family. So this test basically is based on the ability of the bacteria to use citrate as the sole source of carbon. The test utilizes a medium which is known as Simmons citrate agar medium. It is green in color because a green colored dye, which is also a pH indicator, is added into the medium. The, the pH indicator is green in color in neutral, neutral pH, but when the pH turns alkaline, then the green color changes to dark blue color. Only those bacteria that can use citrate, that can utilize citrate, will grow on the medium and then use the nitrogen source in the medium and produce a dark blue color. For the test, aseptic condition is required, so you should be conducting the entire procedure within the sterile zone. As you can see, I have the burner going, and I will be doing the inoculations within the sterile zone. PPE is required, which includes safety goggles, gloves, and lab coat. For the test today, I have two bacterial species, Enterobacter aerogenes on TSA plate and E. coli on TSA plate. The, simple, uh, the procedure is simple. You um, do a zigzag inoculation and transfer minimal amount of bacteria onto the slant of the Simmons citrate agar slant. However, one difference in the procedure from the other procedures that you have done is that we are using inoculating needle and not the inoculating loop for the inoculations. The reason is we want minimal amount of bacteria being transferred onto the slants. We do not want a visible clump of the bacteria because that will later um, give a false positive result. It will look like there's growth, whereas in reality that's not growth. That's the original mass of bacteria that was transferred. So to avoid that, we use the needle. Uh, with the needle, we can take just the right amount of bacteria required to do the transfer. Okay. Sterilize the inoculating needle. Let it cool down. Then, from the agar culture, transfer the bacteria aseptically onto the slant. So I took just a little bit of the bacterial culture with the needle, then transfer that onto the slant surface, doing a zigzag inoculation. After transferring, sterilize the inoculating loop, let it cool down, and repeat the procedure for the other bacterial species, which is E. aerogenes for this lab. So I'll repeat the inoculation for E. aerogenes following the similar procedure. Okay, keep in mind, uh, we just need to inoculate the surface and we're not stabbing into the medium for this test. Okay. After inoculation, these tubes will be incubated. They should be incubated at 37 degrees Celsius for 24 hours. And after 24 hours of incubation, um, these tubes will be ready for observing the results. So I have results of these experiments for you so that we could cover it in one session. So these are the bacterial species that we inoculated. And these are results. That these are 24-hour results of the same test. The citrate control was uninoculated, so this serves as a negative control uh, to compare the color. Let's compare the control with the E. coli. There's no growth on the slant, no growth at all on the slant, and there's no color change on the slant surface. It looks exactly like the control, which indicates a negative citrate utilization test. And this means that the bacteria are not able to produce the citrate permease enzyme um, and hence, they are not able to utilize citrate and grow on the citrate agar medium. Let's compare the results of E. aerogenes with the control, and clearly you can see a dark blue color on the slant, right, a dark blue color, and then there's a good amount of growth on the slant surface. Okay, so this indicates a positive citrate utilization test result, and that means that Enterobacter aerogenes are able to utilize citrate as the sole source of carbon, and hence they are able to grow on the medium and produce alkaline byproducts by using the nitrogen source present in the medium.